Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Anne and I'm going to show you some of the most beautiful Swiss Army knives I have. Now, these are not them. I have these out here because I want to say that by making this video, I'm not saying that this is not beautiful. This Tinker Small is definitely beautiful. Its dimensions are beautiful. The color is beautiful. The inlay is really beautiful. The function is beautiful. The machining is beautiful. This is beautiful. However, I'm talking about beautiful in a different way. But you know, I will show you, I just put these green scales on here, the Huntsman Light. And then I still do think this is an extremely sporty knife. I love this look with the yellow Evo grip scales here. But now let's look at some that, I'm not gonna say these are the pinnacle of beauty yet, but I'm gonna bring these two guys in. Now, this is an example of why I think this video may be of greater interest to my American audience because we don't have as many options when it comes to scales as our European friends. This is a hiker with a hiking bear. I actually love this. I think it is extremely cute and uh, it's from Swiss Knife Shop. I really, really like it. This one I'm going to show you here is also from Swiss Knife Shop and it's sort of from the same um, line. I'll show you a little bit what's different about it. This is a, a tinker and the bear is in space meeting an astronaut or something apparently. Now, let me show you a little bit what's different about these two knives and this will help you as you look for any knives with fancy scales. I do think that one of these things you're gonna see a lot and that's this. This seems to be printed on regular white scales. And this white line over here, you'll see on the sides of many of these, as you can see right there. So the, the color doesn't go all the way to the edge. I find that a little annoying, although this knife is cute enough that I don't care, although it is the reason I didn't buy the DLT um, Warthog. They've got a Warthog scales that they've put on a bunch of different knives, and they're really cool looking, but Honestly, this white edge really kind of annoyed me on that knife, and that's the reason I didn't buy that one. I guess I probably wouldn't consider that beautiful either, but perhaps more something that I just thought was really cool. So, love this scale, but you've got to know about this when you buy this, and you'll see that on several other knives. Now, I'm not sure what the deal is here. This knife has kind of 3D printing, and I'm going to see if I can show that to you. Yeah, I think you can see it right here. As I shine the light on here, can make it go just right. Yeah, you can see there around the Victorinox symbol, you can see how that's raised, and indeed that is raised. And in fact, all of the printing on here seems to be raised at least at the edges. And the same thing on the back. I just think this is so cute. But this is all raised. And on the edges, you can see that the printing actually does basically go to the edge. There's none of that thing where the edges are white. And uh, so I find this to be a little bit better. This is actually printing, the ground is, is gray, and you can feel it's kind of textured there as well. So I actually think this is a little bit better. I prefer this, but not everything is available like this. And honestly, on the website, it doesn't really say that these are different. There are typically on DLT and on uh, Swiss Knife Shop enough pictures to be able to see what the edges actually look like so if this is going to bother you you would be able to see that before you bought them. These knives typically run for you know I would say about the Victorinox list price. Usually you can get a Swiss Army knife for significantly less than the list price but if you're going to get some fancy scales like this then often it will be running at the list price. Okay. Now let's look at uh, another knife here. This one is actually from the Sharp Knives Club and it is colorful. The Sharp Knives Club, Sharp Knife Club, man, I love this knife. This is a little different from the ones I've shown you. Now it is white along the edges, although to be honest, it doesn't bother me at all on this knife. The color appears to be printed on and then the black is three dimensional here. And you can tell that in their pictures, but the pictures also kind of make it confusing. When you look at the pictures of this knife on the website, I wasn't really sure what I was gonna be getting. You see how the light kind of catches the edge there, and if you look at it, it's not really clear if you're looking at some crummy 3D printed thing or not. No, this is extremely nice. It feels like really great quality. And 
super excited. This is my first compact. So that's why I'm mentioning this was 60 euros because this these scales are awesome. They are plus scales on here and look what they did. Oh my gosh. The green color here, they went and got the green tool. So there's the green toothpick on this side and the color really looks great there. And then on the other side, we've got the green tweezers. I mean, I love this knife. Uh, I think it's really great. And uh, they have some other things like this on their website. They're doing a pre-order for something that's gray and mixed up colors, and they have a Swiss champ like that, so I'll have to try to resist buying that, but I might not try too hard, because this is a really nice scale, and it provides some texture, a little grip, which I think may be a welcome thing for some people who are interested. So this was, to me, a really great find. It was basically the full Victorinox price, but really, really nice looking, cool and unique scales here. So I think that that is something that we'll see. I'm gonna show you here my collection of flower knives. Now these come from three different places. Um, this one is a Victorinox original, it's the Edelweiss pattern. I believe you can still get this in some places on the Nail Clip 580. This is just a, oh yeah, this is a classic, an actual classic. Oh, that's the blade. But here, check it out. A pointy fingernail file. Amazing. So, these are still available some places. It's called the red Edelweiss pattern. I believe there was a blue Edelweiss pattern as well. Now, this one is from a Swiss knife shop again. And again, it does have the white on the edges, which bugs me a little, but this pattern is so beautiful. This is actually a gift for someone who does watch the channel, so Sorry if you know what you're getting, but maybe I'll give it to you sometime you don't expect it. And this is really nice. This is a hiker. And I just think this is such a, such a great knife. Super excited about this, and I really love these scales. I think they're so beautiful and fresh and outdoorsy. And yes, they are feminine. I don't see a lot of men wanting to carry this, and I don't think that's a bad thing. Everything doesn't have to be for everybody. I really do like flowers quite a bit. All right, now here we've got, oh, this is so beautiful too. Now, this one is um, also from Swiss Knife Shop, which is in America. It's in, I think it's in New Jersey. This one is the kind that has the printing that goes all the way to the edges, and it's kind of three-dimensional there, which again, it didn't say on the website, but I believe this is cherry blossom. And it's just a Spartan, which is fine. Spartan is great but doesn't have uh, any saw or scissors on here. So that's a little bit something that would be missed there. But yeah, I think this is a really beautiful design. These three flower designs are, I mean, I just think they're lovely. They are lovely. These are lovely knives. And yeah, I am, I, I started looking for these at the same time as I was trying to prepare for the video about why women don't like multi-tools. And I thought that lack of beauty was one of the issues, and these knives really fix that. And as I have been looking more on the internet and trying to look at some places that are in other countries, I was able to find that there are European companies that sell Victorinox Swiss Army knives with their custom scales that are really lovely and feminine and beautiful. But man, and many of them ship to the United States, but it is hard to find them. So if you are a European person and you, or not a European person, if you know some of these stores, please uh, drop a link below. All right, this is an Alox color scale. There are a variety of colors. There's black and red, which are fairly common that you can find from a lot of places. And some, most of the time, when you get these colored scales, they will have some kind of brand put on this blank spot in the back. And this dark green comes from Swiss Knife Shop. I love this color green. I think this is so great. And honestly, this is a Bantam. Jeez, it's, oh it's just wafer thin. It is just wafer thin. I love this knife. So I love this knife, so we're gonna open things on it. So I'm gonna open it and get fingerprints on it. <laughs> All right, so this is the Bantam. And when you buy a knife that has uh, color, like I said, you'll often get some logo printed in there. 
The red and black, often you can find without a logo. Most of the time they have a logo, but often they don't have a logo. They don't use the scales on everything. I was able to find Knife Center, I believe, has a Farmer X with red scales that I thought was just really, really cool. I thought that was a great color for that knife. Doesn't it sound silly, but I really do. But the red and black Alox you can find fairly easily. And of course, the regular Alox is silver, which I don't have one here to show you, but you can imagine what that looks like if you don't know. I love this green. I love how thin this is. I've already lost this knife twice because it's so small. You can't like feel if it's in your pocket. You go running around the house. Hey, where did it go? Um, all right, let's look at this guy. This is a cadet. This blue color is from the 2020 exclusive Victorinox collection or whatever. They don't make a whole ton of these, but they're pretty much everywhere for a year and then they go away. If you look at the gray ones, those are still around because probably they don't really look that great and people weren't that excited about buying them. And I wonder how long the current yellow ones are going to stay around. Anyway, I think this is a really pretty color. This is a cadet. Such a great model for so many reasons. The cadet has a variety of tools that are actually going to let you fix a bunch of problems. Theoretically, it's similar to the Bantam except for this nail file here. But I think that these tools feel a little bit more robust. Of course, they're a little bit more purpose made and Having just used a combo tool on a Phillips head screw, I can say that it would have been much easier if I had just had a can opener with a 2D Phillips on the end. That would have been a lot easier <laughs> as opposed to trying to use that corner of the combo tool. So this is the 2020 blue. And you can still find this. I actually found this at the Sharp Knives Club and they now have a lot of my money. Now, here's the thing though that I think is a huge game changer. You guys, this champagne color is phenomenal. This is the most delicate knife you would ever find. Honestly, if this came in a Bantam, I would have gotten it in a Bantam too. This cadet is fantastic as you can see here this is the 2019 edition from Victorinox and I cannot believe these are still available anywhere this color is beautiful if you buy this on eBay you will pay more than what I paid at the sharp knife club including shipping this is a I just can't even tell you this is such a beautiful such a delicate color with actual functional tools in here, this is a great, great knife. This is going to be my dress-up knife. It's my fave. All right, so these are the main things I wanted to show you. I do have a couple honorable mentions coming up here if you are interested. The first of the honorable mentions, first and second, are similar to each other. A green and a blue Excelsior in Alox. Also a wafer, wafer thin knife. Delicate styling. I really like these colors. This green, like I said, this green is my jam. You can see they still have the oil on them. It's brand new. But two blades, regular Excelsior setup. Some knives when you get them are going to have some writing on here. It's hard to show it a little bit here knives it says this is from the sharp knives club i believe it's plural in the word there and uh i reached out to them to ask them if it was okay if i made this video because i kind of feel like once people see that they still have the 2019 champagne colored alox <laughs> that they're going to be overrun with orders from the united states of people that do not have any opportunity to buy this at a reasonable price they didn't really get back to me, so I'm making the video anyway. I guess I figure they're a store. They want to sell things. And then here's my final honorable mention. This is a special edition that was made in 1987. Here's the paper. It comes in English and in German, I think. Yep. So basically, there's a battle in 1444 that this knife commemorates, which is 
very interesting, right? As an American, we don't commemorate things from 1444 because our country didn't really exist then. Like it would have to be something other than our country that would be being commemorated. So I can show this here. There is beautiful printing or engraving, I'm sorry, on this blade. And then here's the knife itself. It actually has a picture of the battle. It is very complicated and a bit difficult to see. You can see here there's a church on fire and there's people inside. So if you're interested, I will bring out this knife again and show you all the stuff on it. It's an explorer. And uh, tell you the story as far as I've read it. But you know what I would really prefer? I don't have any connection to this story personally. I'm not from the right country. I'm not the right ethnic heritage. My heritage is not Swiss, that is to say. And, uh, and so as a consequence, I, I would love if somebody that was more connected to that story wanted to tell that story. Thank you so much for watching.